development of control systems, embedded systems, etc. He has presented more than 20 papers in national and international conferences and has published multiple papers and books. Without taking much time, now I would like to invite our eminent guests to enlighten the students on the today's topic. Welcome, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Shashank. Thank you very much. Uh, I would extend my thanks to your organization or to your institution for providing me this op opportunity to present actually various aspects of startups. So shall I share my slides? Yes, sir. Okay. Give me a second, please. Can somebody help me because I'm doing Windows? Yeah, just okay. <laughs> Are my slides visible? Yes, sir. Is it in slide from what? Yes, sir. Is it in slide from what? Yes, sir. Your slide is still running. Okay. So again, I thank your organization for Pandit Dindal Upadhyay Management College, Mere, for providing this opportunity of sharing certain uh, information about current regulatory environment and policies for startups in India. Uh, so this uh, talk actually I will cover with uh, what are the various policies that are there and why we need startup uh, means in general. Uh, so everybody may have somebody may heard the talk of Shashi Tharoor, uh, member of parliament in Oxford University, stating these type of statements like, in 1775, Asia primarily consists of Persia, India, China, etc. I counted for 80% of the world economy. By 1950s, am I audible, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So by 1950s, uh, China's portion itself is reduced to 5 percentage, whereas India's uh, role is reduced further up to 2 or 3 percentage. And overall, if you take the case of Asia, its contribution is reduced significantly. Uh, uh, if you take the uh, case of India in the 18th century or 17th or till 18th century, we were ruled by big kings like uh, in the 11th century or 14th century, primarily by Mughals. If you take the case of China also, they are also ruled by Hang Zhen, etc., who are big kingdoms, which are very big when compared with the European countries, European kingdoms, etc. How we how the economic power shifted within a span of 200 years. So in my case, actually, this is also called as a startup where the newer firms like East India Company or VOC companies, which are started very primarily with very other aspects, which are not exactly clear. they are also trying to add new revenues, new ideas, newer growths. So I will be talking on those aspects. Then I will be coming up with that. What are the current policies? How a startup needs to be recognized, and what are the various things that needs? To so how it happened? So in a case of uh, pre-modern economy, that uh, in my case I will say it is previous 17th or 18th century. There is a certain uh, mechanism like there will be production of goods, whether it is food goods or. Uh, artificial items or gold items or whatever it is, uh, certain people are doing those things, they are selling those things in open market or they are trading with other countries, they are such generating certain revenue. Out of this revenue, they are paying certain tax to the kingdom who is ruling the country. And the king in most of the cases never bothered or never in, uh, interested in putting certain more portion of the money again to, uh, to do new research or newer areas. He is, boy, he is himself content or the people in those days may be content with the area that they are living and the, what are the things that are available to them. They are not interested in identifying newer boundaries, like they don't want to go outside the Mughal Empire or if you take the case of 
15th century they don't want to go outside they want to conquer new lands which are accessible to them but they don't want to know the un uncharted waters of what i mean to say but in today's economy the how this work is people are generating goods people are providing services certain amount of this will generate profits certain amount will be go to the government in this case today's agent generation and the government again fund certain amount through research or fund make your mechanism like startup india uh, swasth india swasth bharat startup certain mechanisms will they will put they again put certain amount and they put into the economy see this is how in present day scenario it is working so that is why new few countries are thriving much better few countries are lagging behind so this is how this world economy is going these days so how this one will work policy framing then the policy framing the government will make sure that everything is in place so that the newer companies will come which is consists of resources or economics and these resources or economics will generate certain revenue and it will go to the science and research they may fund directly or they may give to the government again government will fund the important aspect of science is science actually admit ignorance actually science will never say that i know everything science will say that i don't know exactly what is behind the milky way or what is behind the black hole these are little bit of scientific terms because uh, we generally do these things so science will say i don't know how big bang happened or even if i know a big bang happened i don't know exactly what initiated that process it will say i will do the research and identify how it happened it will not it will never say science will never say i know everything science will say what is not there it will admit it ignorance based upon this new research new things will come or like going to the new planets or so on and so forth and based upon this new research government identify which research or which things are critical to the country or critical to the society and based upon this they will frame the policies and they will do certain aspects so um, here i would like to share a small example Uh, because uh, again i will visit the 17th century spain and uh, dutch again i will come up those things uh, those companies which are there in the in that century in those countries so there is one businessman uh, who gave 10000 gold coins to his two sons one went to the spain the other went to the dutch in the 17th century spain was uh, um, ruled by the king so the boy who got 10000 gold coins uh, he gave to the king saying that i will fund your war with the france at the time spain is fighting war with the france if you win the war give me this much interest and give me my back so so this thing this is one way of working the other was other son who went to the dutch with the same 10000 gold coins in that in those time there is a policy framing already happened and everything is in place like there is a judiciary system which is independent of the king there is the implementing agency which is in, independent of the king so this person went to the market and he funded a certain startup or certain organization who took this money like a bakery and made up new products and got uh, revenue and he paid the money to uh, the son who gave it to 10000 dollars so he got the money back and also some profit the other other son who is in the spain who gave it to the king of the spain the what the king said that now the uh, war with the france is over but i still more money i need more money so you bring me my bag he never bothered about giving the money which was already given to him pehle jo paisa diya tha uske bare mein baat nahi kar raha aur paisa mang raha so in this country spain people are never interested in adding new resources or new things because it is not having a new policy or any such thing to coexisting of various stakeholders who are involved in the society so that is why the policy framing is very much important in any country's growth so one is having any certain problem or any issue they can approach without any hesitation to the higher authorities so i will share one success story uh, this is also 14th century 15th century so in those areas people used to have expeditions they want to find new areas like people from we already heard about the christopher columbus right who discovered america we already know christopher columbus somebody say he accidentally uh i didn't uh, discover america he wants to go to east asia certainly like india or so and so but by mistake he identified so christopher columbus it's not like that uh like nowadays if you say that i want to go to mars give me some money nobody will give right i want to visit the moon so in those days going out of spain is also similar to those lines but he approached uh, columbus himself is a portuguese he approached various 
kings during his time to pitch his problem to various kings like he went to the kings of spain kings of portugal kings of france and great britain so everybody rejected his idea and the spain king who was nearly newly formed uh, known as uh, ferdinand and isabella new rulers of spain found is this expedition is much more interested and they funded this expedition because in those days going out to like means nowadays going to moon we don't know whether we will be come back uh, safely or not it's like nobody knows what will happen because in those days if you visit newer countries you may get sick sick with the newer diseases in those days malaria itself is a very big issue scurvy is one such disease so people are not interested in going beyond their boundaries but columbus or in those days these sailors or explorers wants to find out newer trade routes newer avenues so so by mistake or accidentally they discovered in 1492 a new continent is there which is on the other side of the europe they don't know the exactly where this border ends they only know, know the one side of the usa they don't know the other side of the america like if you say that they know brazil but they don't know the argentina so they know so once they identified this new continent spain like british ruled our country in 1700s 1800s spain ruled the southern southern america and they plundered those continents beyond their wildest dreams and they became rich in those days in 15th century or 16th century spain is the richest kingdom in the entire world so i am not talking about who is right who is wrong but i am saying one explorer who wants to identify new areas the other things come into place and they become super rich in this aspect though name america is came um by mistake like uh, not for the italian side america west kuchi so he made so many he actually to america but that it is, it is america west kuchi who discovered america that's how the name american came into the picture or america came into the picture subsequently historians identified that it is not america west kuchi who discovered this continent it is actually columbus that's what was that's what we all studied in our social sciences during our school days so how they succeed so again one such company voc which is in dutch so they formed a company they sold their equity shares to the open market they generated certain revenue based upon this revenue they bought ships manpower artillery etc based upon this info, based upon these resources they try to identify newer trade routes to asia and they reached indonesia indonesia is a such a country which is having a hundreds of island so slowly and uh, slowly and steadily they conquered the entire country and they ruled the indonesia for nearly 300 years like similarly in 1831 british royal navy uh, sent one ship called hms beagle to map the coasts of south america because nobody knows actually what is the boundary and where it moves people generally knows the african boundaries on the one side it is south africa and the other side like if you take the case of africa people know the both the sides because that is how they formed the route uh, so now this new continent came up in 16th century so people were interested in identify what is the coastal line of south america so british royal navy sent one such expedition the ship captain which was much more interested in not only doing this expedition along with it he wants to carry out carry out what is it, this area looks like if you visit a new area which is not at all humanly habitable in earlier humanly it is not accessed earlier it will be entirely different so this captain wants to add a geologist to his crew so he approached so many uh, so many researchers scientists etc but nobody was interested in accepting his offer but one such gentleman one such graduate from cambridge a 20 year old young man boarded the ship took this offer and and published one of the more most important scientific discovery means it's changed actually the way we think do you know can anybody guess actually who is it but i know actually through vc it is difficult can anybody guess actually who this graduate who made one of the important discoveries of human history so uh sir so his name is charles darwin he published the theory of evolution uh, after this expedition and it is uh, and it is one of the most important ha ha sir 
Sir, Hello? actually your slide is not moving. Hello? Sir, your slide is ah. not moving. Abhi move nahi kar raha hai. Are pehle batana hai. Sorry. Sorry. कौन सी स्लाइड पे अटक गया सर एक्चुअली वी आर एबल टू सी द फर्स्ट स्लाइड ओनली ओके जस्ट गिव मी अ सेकंड सॉरी आई एम एक्सट्रीमली सॉरी हियर इट इज दैट्स व्हाई आई आस्क्ड एरलियर नाउ इट इज स्लाइड शो मींस इट इज नॉट शेयर्ड राइट राइट नाउ आई डिस I am shared the yes, screen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Is it now in now slides are coming? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, now we are able to see the slide. Why start up? Okay. This is the best part. So now it's slides are. So we are at slide number two. Why start up? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's a pre-modern economy or modern economy? No, sir. Just a second. I will disconnect and log in again. Just give me two minutes. Is it okay? okay? students please remain in the uh, meeting the speaker will be soon back so i log in with other account actually just just no you can you see my slides anybody can respond please uh, yes sir yes. now we are at the slide why startups are so important pre modern economy and okay. modern can you see yes sir okay yes so these things are coming up right success stories yes, yes, spain sir. america okay so that's what uh, this 14 so i will start with the third slide okay how they succeeded so yes, charles darwin uh darwin actually who published the uh, one during such one expeditions to identify new areas this is also like today's day and age it is a lot of startup which took this expedition and took this challenge and uh did participate and it is one of the most important scientific discovery of human evolution theory of evolution by charles darwin it is also done during one such uh, expedition by a startup so why they fail because uh, right now these things christopher columbus identified this new country or dutch company identified indonesia or concord indonesia during one such thing so why they fail so new era when news when they come into the society it needs to be regulated and this regulation needs to be sustainable this slide is visible right yes sir it is sir voice is not clear Okay. So new revenues, when new revenues will come into the thing, now it is clear. Hello. Sir, if you could be little louder. Okay. I'm I'm speaking loudly only. Okay. Right now, how it is? Yes, sir. So uh, new rev. when news needs to be regulated and because if it is not regulated they are not sustainable okay now the voice is okay yes sir 
yes sir yes sir if it is an issue so um, so in 18th century the french revolution happened uh, this is also uh, there is one company like mississippi company which is having good relations with the king of that century so they started a company called mississippi company the director of the company is also the finance minister of the france based upon this profile so he sold very uh, he sold very attractive incorrect products which led to a bubble formation in the france economy by 1970s uh, by 1780s people realized that uh, the france is heading towards hello yeah the france is heading towards bankruptcy so thus the french revolution began because one such company is not regulated properly or regulated but the director is having um, wrong motivations and he sold a product which is led to the uh, which is led to the collapse of a french france economy so that's how the french revolution began after that they formed a new regulations and new king uh, newer governance etc and, and so on and so forth so why start up fail if you see in terms of numbers there are three major aspects first one is the human resource next one is funding and the third is viability 21 percentage of the time due to the team and the personal withdrawals people are not uh, looking the broader picture or people are not um, willing to move forward so they withdraw in between so that's how the, that is one of aspect the other aspect is 18 percent of time they don't get the necessary funds or they are unable to approach the necessary people to carry out the activity the third most important aspect is viability they are create want and also this product is out competed or having a poor strategy and marketing like out competed me i like the case of Bruce. everybody knows right bro first hello am i audible Yes, sir. You are ordered. Okay. Yes, yes sir. sir. Out competed our poor strategy means uh, if you take the case of growers uh, earlier now they came to now from growers they have a good competition or very high competition come from a company called Zetto which started its uh, delivery. Growers is also a delivery based solution which is offering vegetables and food essentials to the uh, to the needy based upon their services. But they got a competition from Zetto, so they were unable to compete. And they changed their name from Grofers to the Blinkit in the last one month or two months. In almost three days or four days back, Zomato picked the company Blinkit, and Grofers is out of the market. So the product is outcompeted or having a poor or marketing strategy is also one aspect which will make you wipe out of the market. Everybody knows Grofers is a big company. Two two years back, it is called the next startup or a unicorn. on startup but due to commercial these issues it may be it may not be viable further so that is one aspect where startups fail the third aspect with the location and legalities people wants to offer the solutions in the metro cities because they are having wider range of market who wants to try, try new products if you want to provide a solution to the person who is living in bangalore we cannot offer the solution by sitting in pilani or by sitting in meerut or by sitting in another location of the country sometimes what happens the thing which we started and what we reached may not work out what we started to achieve and what from at the end of the day where we are we don't know so this is one aspect these are the various aspect why startups fail so if you see the numbers of startups in india this is next slide slide change right yeah are you there hello yes sir Okay. So, I told you that there are about forty-one thousand of startups are registered, and they are generating four point seven lakhs, and under roughly four thousand five hundred crores, by various schemes. And few companies are eligible from the exemption, and they are registered through them. The mechanisms are public. public procurement models etc and so on and so forth there are 37 plus regulatory reforms that are taking place uh, 
no variant because start up government of india and he implement its start up program based upon the needs of this organization because the industries are again controlled by the individual state government of that area okay these are the numbers next slide so this this is the ecosystem that uh, a startup organization will be looking at it needs to have a support mechanisms like mentor professional services or incubator accelerator peace etc and it is having necessary human capital in terms of technical talent as well as management talent here we are not in a regular uh, day to day activities we may require technical knowledge but in if you want to have some new product or new if you want to give a new solution to a problem you need to have a technical talent not only knowledge is not sufficient and each human capital should be or human capital should have entrepreneur capital gen generation me denizen and you should have to say developing a it related facility and also some certain certain aspects of taxation incentives and and you should also look into the competition what are the various other service provider who are offering same solution or the similar solution what is the value addition that you are doing as a startup and what is your product offerings the other aspects will be market funding culture so market means whether it is a domestic market or a rural or industry industry oriented market like if it is a domestic market whether it is for the consumer or it is for the business to business you are providing a solution to a bank which is dealing with the consumer you are not dealing with the bank so these aspects like that funding initially you may start with your own funds like with your own family then subsequently you will go with the family and friends then you will be attracting private equity venture capitalists and angel investors from where you will pitch your solution and also the culture aspect fewer cultures will have more risk taking approach than the other countries that are there so how much risk that you can take how and how much failures that you can as act um, accept these are all cultural aspect that a person who is initiating a startup then the market validation whether the product is suitable to the market or not what is the feedback of it whether it is a, whether it can be direct or indirect then the team then because when you are pitching your own startup or when you are pitching your own idea they should have a certain team which will be acting as a support mechanism to guide you from time to time and a multi domain expert it's not like if you are electronics engineer or a marketing person you are not only dealing only the marketing aspects of the product you should also look into the other aspect of it what is the technical feedback that the product should have what is the other solution other uh, features that needs to be added to the existing solution so the team should have a multi domain knowledge or multi